So I thought we'd talk a little bit about pain during penetration because we got so many questions yes. from young women. Yeah. And you made a comment when we first started talking about this that was right on the money. And that is, first time, sex for almost every woman on the planet is a form of rape. And then they had that, and, and but why break that down? Because I think it, it, because we don't give our kids any information. Uh, the little boy and the little girl, they want to have sex. They don't know what that is exactly. Well, they have the desire and the urge. Yeah, and they, but they know he has to put his penis inside her vagina, and that's not the way to start. That's not no. beginning sex. No, that's procreation, and we don't make that difference for kids. It's painful. So here they are. They want to do it go all the way. <laughs> yeah, and then we have all this stuff in the culture about, are you a virgin losing your virginity? You know, we get them all hyped up. <laughs> you know? it's, it is insanity. So mm -hmm. practically every first time sex, heterosex, is a form of rape. And then, then they get later on, they go to a, you know, a doctor because, you know, it's, they still don't know how to do it. We have to spend, the woman has to understand her vagina by in penetrating herself with her fingers. Yeah, yes. little small things. Use lubrication and be aroused. Be Always into do. It. Always do a lot of clitoral stimulation. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. And when you're really turned on, you want penetration. Put your finger in and feel around yeah. and get to know your own body. Don't use a penis. You're worried about getting pregnant. You're worried about what they think of you. Is it good? Is it this? Is it that? It's too much pressure. Terrible. And from that day mm. on, sex is a problem. Well, because as soon as you're going to be penetrated, you're going to clench up because it's going to hurt. That's your expectation. <laughs> yep. It's pain. Yep. And you always say, if you have a clitoris, you can orgasm. And if you have a vagina, you can enjoy penetration. Absolutely. There's no such thing as like a, a vagina is too small, too big, too long, too anything. It's just, it's not true. Well, <laughs> if the muscles are clenched, it's too tight. That is... That is a possibility. Well, I had to deal with that post-birth with my C-section. I guess the, the trauma, because I don't hold tension in my, my PC at all, but all of a sudden it was tight, and I wrote about it. And a woman who worked through it by reading my piece said that what resonated with her is that it takes four to six months of, of daily penetration. Yes. Myself doing it, practicing with lots of lubricant, and I had to size down the dildo, and I had to work the size up, and you have to go from pain, discomfort, discomfort to no pain, like numbness, feel nothing, then pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> it doesn't happen automatically or overnight. No. So here we are throwing our kids into the, ugh, into this, this awful setup oh. of fear, confusion, pain. Yes. And you could, it, young women are getting pregnant and either having abortions or babies and they haven't had an orgasm. It hasn't felt good. That's horrible. They've never had any pleasure in sex. Other, I mean, no. you don't know, it's a tragedy. So sex education is primary for the healing of America. We must, mm -hmm. we must do. But I don't mean birds and bees. I mean specific yes. information of Lots of clitoral stimulation. You Lots must, of lubricant. <laughs> and you must be turned on. You must have ooh, that desire to be penetrated, not curiosity or, you know, and the little boy is pressuring you and you don't want to lose him. And then what's happening, what's been happening, is that these young girls, because they don't have any... Uh, birth control is they're doing anal penetration. I know, and that's a whole which, oh, other advanced sex skill. Very intense. And I think as parents, you know, now that I have a son, I think about it. You know, we have to acknowledge our kids as sexual beings, and we have to understand, like, yeah. we want our daughters to have good relationships and with themselves and other people, and sex is a component of yeah. that, with themselves or with someone else. So you want them to enjoy penetration. You want them to explore their bodies. You know, the thought of your 16-year-old having a good time with penetration freaks people out, so we want girls to be scared. Well, we make yes. them victims. Yes, absolutely. We yeah. perpetuate the rape culture because you should always say no, 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 no. We put this pressure on them. And so we make birth control hard. We give them misinformation. You're going to have a vaginal orgasm. He's going to well, stick something in you. So and in two is, minutes, you're going to come. All goes back to the virginity myth. Yes, alive and well. We haven't made a dent in it. it is well, so I think we're chipping away. 
I don't know. <laughs> or slowly chipping I away. I don't know. So penetration is natural. It's fun. It feels good. Do it yourself first. Okay?